welcome back to NRM 638, GIS programming or Python scripting for ArcGIS applications, spring semester 2015. And this is a graduate class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, what we're going to do is work with Python functions. And a function is basically a paragraph of Python code that accomplishes something. And we may have more than one function in a, which is called a module. So what we're going to do is work with a test module. So if you go to the Blackboard website, NRM638, go to the Python scripts link. And then in that Python scripts page, go to the week one Python basics folder. And then we want to download this test module.py to your computer. So right mouse click save target as or save link as okay so after you've downloaded that file it has a .py extension so we could open it using ArcGIS Python 2.7 IDLE or we could just right mouse click on that file and edit with IDLE okay so basically what we have is what's called a module and the module in this case has two very simple functions and a function starts with a definition, DEF, the function name, and then enclosed in parentheses any input variables that would go into our function. So our first function has no input variable that's going into the function, and then a colon. And then everything after that colon that's indented is part of that function. So basically this is what's called a doc string that will document what our function does. And then this is what will be executed when we use the function. And then we return from our function. And then the next function has an input variable called longitude. And then using the contents of that input variable, we're going to take longitude plus 180 divide it by 6 plus 1, and take the integer. And that will return the UTM zone for any western longitude. And then that will be printed out. And then we have a variable in our module called string welcome, and that's used in this function. So basically that will be what is printed out. Okay, so this is a typical module. It has everything that is in green is the text string sort of describing what the module does. We've got one string variable and we've got two functions. So to use that module, what we'll do is we'll check, does it have any syntax errors? And it had no syntax errors. Okay, so basically what we'll do is import the module that we want to work with. And in Python, there's thousands of modules that do specialized operations. So we'll import this module. And then we could say, well, help, give us help about this object. And the object is our test module. But then we get our doc string. So the name of the module is from this file name, test module. And then uh, module name test module, it got from this first line in the module. And then the description module has two functions, one string variable, that's from the remaining text in that first paragraph. And then every function, the first line of that function has a string, and the string's enclosed in triple quotes, and that's describing what that function does. So we've got a function called display welcome, and this is what it does. And then we've got a function UTM zone, and this is what that function does. Okay, so to use a function, it would simply be the module's been imported, so we know about it. The Python interpreter knows about that module, it's in memory. So then we could just type in the name of the module and dot. That will list all the functions that are available with that module, as well as any attributes of the module or, or variable. So that's string welcome, for example. So let's try function display welcome and see what happens. So basically what happened was it executed that function. 
and the function was print this variable contents and that variable is established in our module to be this and then our other function is test module dot and we'll see the functions available so utm zone and that requires an input parameter so the input parameter would be what is the input longitude it's going to be in that function as the input. So it's going to be a negative value. So let's say negative 147. What we want to do is take that. It's going to return something. And it's going to return the UTM zone after computing it using this line. So this line computes the UTM zone given an input, which is a negative longitude value. So the function returns that zone. So what we need to do is store that in some variable. Say, let's say our variable is UTM zone output. You can call it whatever you want. And then we'll execute that function. So UTM zone output contains the value six because that's what was returned right in this location here and it was computed in this line here. Okay, so we have a function, and with any function, you can just type in function name or the module name, and then dot, and it will list the functions available in that module. Sometimes in the script, we'll import the functions directly. A line from our module imports all the objects that are in that module, so that would be an asterisk. So that's going to import functions in that variable string welcome into memory and if you do that then you no longer have to type in module name and then dot the function you could simply type in the function so for example we could say I don't need this test module anymore it could simply be the name of the function so let me try print tm zone negative one so it executed the function the function itself had this print statement it returns zone, and then I printed out that value from that return zone. So that's where we get it right there. So sometimes you'll see in a script, instead of importing the module, the code alt -E, from the module name import asterisk, and then you simply type in the names of the functions that you want to use. We're going to use functions next week when we do field calculators in ArcMap. All our field calculations in ArcMap using Pythons will be with Python functions. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got a quiz question for you there that when you answer it successfully will lead you to the next video session.